क्लास वन वॉवल्स एंड कॉन्सोनेंट्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल लर्न अबाउट वॉवल्स एंड कॉन्सोनेंट्स एज यू ऑलरेडी नो टोटल एल्फाबेट्स इन इंग्लिश आर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड दीज आर फ्रॉम ए टू जी और जेड यू मस्ट ऑलरेडी बी अवेयर अबाउट फ्रॉम अबेट्स फ्रॉम ए टू जी राइट टोटल ट्वेंटी सिक्स एल्फाबेट्स आर फर्दर कर कैटेगराइज इन टू वॉवल्स एंड कॉन्सनेंट्स so we will learn about vowels and this terms in this topic now how these alphabets are divided into vowels and consonants so basis of division is the sound produced by each letter in the alphabets right so there are basically five vowels in english language a e i o u and rest all comes into the category of consonants so these five vowels are based on the sound they produce when they are used in various words so the primary thing you need to learn about vowels is the alphabets that represents the vowels later on we will come across more details like how we choose choose the vowel sounds from the words so you have to practice the sounds made by made by each letter while you pronounce various words so there are some rules for using a and an before naming a word right basically naming word is a word which represents name of any object an idea a place or a thing or a person for example you can see that while writing a sentence a sentence we use an before it right so it is preceded by article an an apple we never say a apple we always use an before apple right a cat a bat a spider an egg so how we come across into the idea right how can we get the idea that where to use a and where to use an so it is very simple for all the words that's the vowels with vowel sounds those words are preceded by an whereas all the words that starts from consonant sounds we use a before them right so in all these examples you can see we have used umbrella we have before before umbrella and apple and egg so it is based on the sound produced by the first letter of the word so you need to 
try hard to speak the words all the words that you'd encounter in your daily life you have to try to speak those words for basic understandings of understanding of vowel and consonant sounds right for example here you can see what is written is written here. it is written r here h is silent while we speak this word h sound is silent and we use r so here we will write an r i scream so i represent while speaking this word i scream the first sound is vowel sound i so we always use an before i scream in the third word ch 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 so here the first letter is not producing vowel sound so we will write a ch fourth for sound so for first sound it's a consonant sound so we will use a fruit orange o so o is a vowel sound so we will always write an orange octopus o start with start with vowel sound o so we will write an before octopus table t is a consonant sound t is producing consonant sound here so we will write a table right next is ant a a sound is a vowel sound so it is preceded by an you can see here an hour an ice cream an orange and octopus a chair a fruit a table so better you you speak the words and see if the first letter of the word is producing a vowel sound or a consonant sound so based on that for the singular naming words we use a or an so type of questions that can come in the olympiad examinations based on vowels and consonants here are the here are few sample questions like you can see find odd one out from the given options so here we have given four options apple ant egg and bag so you have to check okay what is similarity in three any of these three options and only one is odd right so only one is odd among these so you have to find out right now you can see apple it is a vowel sound word like it's beginning with a vowel sound ant is beginning with a vowel sound and egg is beginning with a vowel sound whereas bag is beginning with a consonant sound so here bag is the correct answer it is the odd among all these options next type of question that can appear in the exam is select the incorrect option from the given options an orange a egg a toy a ball now we can sense right like here the question is based on like whether an or a are used correctly with the naming words so here we have written an orange o is a vowel sound so this is correct a egg e e is a vowel sound whereas the article used here is a so this is the incorrect option and this is the answer it should be an egg 
or toy. T is a consonant sound and here A is used. So this is perfectly fine. A ball. B is a consonant sound and here ball, b, b consonant sound. So we can use a here, right? So this is the incorrect option. Next question, how many consonants are there in the word elephant? So here we have to find consonants. Right? So you can see this is vowel. L is a consonant. Then again E is a vowel. P is a consonant. H is a consonant. A is vowel. N is consonant. T is consonant. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 consonants are there in the word elephant. So the perfect and right answer is 5. Students, there is detailed study provided free and many more questions and quizzes to practice vowels and consonants at our website. So you can go through the website. Under the section vowels and consonants for class 1, you will find more quizzes where you will find several type of questions that can appear in Olympiad exams. Right? So go to the website, open the page and test yourself for vowels and consonants. So students stay tuned for more videos and shine in various Olympiads. Thank you. Please subscribe this channel for more educational videos on various Olympiads.